my people. What's up? What's up? It's your man Mike Bowens. Listen, I'm just showing you my old inventory room slash office. It's kind of small. It was in my basement of my old house. But that's why I was working out of. You see, I started moving things out of the basement. You see like my CDs, cases, what so have you. Empty box, I'm about to start packing it up. A lot of stuff I already started taking out, moving into my new place. You see the walls are bare at this point in time. I still have a few things on the ground. You know, a bag. You know, some of the CDs, cases, the racks what have you see this is one of the titles on there how to make your way prosperous Mike Bowens yeah so it was definitely a small place small enough that I couldn't really stand up straight see the door to the ceiling can't really stand up straight and so I just want to take you on this journey to see where I started from with this thing and where I am going. And my next step is the new house that we bought is you're gonna see the garage that we're gonna transform into Mike Bowen's Motivates headquarters, new headquarters. So I'm excited about that. You're gonna see that coming up next. I was gonna use, this is the upstairs of our old place where we used to live. And I was gonna use this as part of the office, like the filming room, blah, blah, blah. But this is actually gonna be a rental property. Oh yeah, we're gonna rent this out, this whole house. And yeah, that starts another stream of income. You know, because you got to work smarter, not harder. And a lot of people think that you got to just work hard all day long. I don't buy into that. I don't subscribe to that. And so this room was going to be my office. As you see, it's paint on the floor. Got to renovate this room. This is going to be part of the rental property. And so, gotta change out the windows, change out the doors, change out the floors, gotta repaint. But we're gonna get it done. And so this was the old living room area. And so, this is all gonna be a rental. Yep, 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 yep. All gonna be a rental. Yep. And this room right here was going to be my exercise room. However, like I said, I'm going to com completely renovate this room and turn it into a rental property. We already got the tenants lined up. We just gotta finish doing the work and they will be moving in here. So all of my CDs, everything, I gotta move out of here because I, the garage is starting renovations shortly and I'm gonna take you there and show you exactly what that looks like pre-renovation. Uh, and so you can see what it looks like and see how we're gonna transform that baby. MBM headquarters. It's bigger than this space, but this is all of the, the inventory that I have at this point, and I have to bring it over to the new place with me and get organized. You see that? That's definitely one of the books that I have, 
and audio messages. And so, yeah, it's definitely coming along. I feel good about it. I feel great. God is the greatest. This is the closet with some of the inventory things here. It's probably a little dark. I could probably could turn the light on. But you know, we're working, baby. We're working. We're working. We're working. See, this is the mic that I'm going to do some recording on. And my audio books. The lighting. Yeah, light didn't really change anything that much. But, as you can see, yeah, got to fix the windows. Everything. But it's going to be a nice rental property. The family is going to love this place. And all my inventory and everything like that is going over to my new headquarters at MBM. And so starting January 2020, I'm actually going full time with MBM, Mike Bowen's Motivates. So we're going to turn it up a notch, baby. We're going to turn it up a notch. They thought this is all we was doing was in-house daycare, but you don't know. They think they know, but they don't know. And they don't see me coming, but I'm coming. They don't know how I'm grinding, but I'm grinding. They don't know what I'm working on, but they gonna see it. They gonna see it. They gonna see it. Because God is the greatest. And we're gonna lift him up. We're gonna lift him up everywhere that we go. Jesus, what a wonderful savior. I love you, Lord. So now, I'm gonna show you my next spot. Come on, let's go. Yeah, so like I was saying, this is my new headquarters and my new garage, which is gonna be converted it's going to be all this is going to come out all of this um, blow up swimming pool and still have a few boxes from when we moved in so we just moved in not too long ago this is my wife uh, Christmas decorations she already has a place that that's going to go but see this place is huge this this garage is huge I'm going to get it sheet rocked put heat in here AC, new floors. I'm gonna be able to put up my vision wall. I'm gonna have a place to record, a place for inventory. Yeah, God is great. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I got a place to stand. Look at this, I come all the way back. Listen, I want you to know Amazon started in the garage. Right, Apple started in the garage. This is now my second place first I was in the basement where I couldn't even stand up and now I'm in this garage which is beautiful beautiful oh, oh. you got to see the beauty in it to know where I started from and so you know this place is huge and so from here I'm gonna see what's gonna be the next step. And so, you can't despise small beginnings. You gotta say, you know what, God, I'm gonna go by faith. This is the vision that you gave me and I'm gonna put the pedal to the metal. See, some people, matter of fact, I'm saying most people wanna wait for all the conditions to be right. Oh, I can't do this yet because I don't have this or I don't have that or it's not perfect. But guess what? It's never gonna be perfect and you gotta start small to work your way big. You can't think that you're just going to bypass all the small stuff. And it's not always going to look pretty. Sometimes it's going to look messed up. It's not going to look like what your vision says it's going to be. But when you get started and you faith over a few things, God will make you ruler over much. So I just want to encourage somebody to work their vision that God has given them. Start If you, if you want to have a catering business or a restaurant, start in your kitchen. right? Do something to show that you're ready for the next level. Because why would you get a promotion? Why would you get an increase? Why would you get a bigger space when you're not even managing the space that you have now? And so this is where I'm at. 
I'm excited about it. I got my contract is coming out in the next week or so. And they're going to give me the estimates. They're going to tell me exactly how much it's going to cost to put the sheetrock up, the insulation, the, the heating, the AC, the floors. And this is going to be the bomb. That's a bomb going off. Boom! Can you tell I'm excited? And so this is how I'm living, baby. This is how I'm living. And so this right here is Mike Bowen's Motivates headquarters. We have officially moved to our new location. I hope this message encouraged somebody. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Call me on this journey. And until next time, I want to say, be blessed.